All right, warrior. All right, so against warrior, I'm hard digging for the Helia. Just want to be able to erase the possibility of um of the Bren as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, I did not draw. He is running Renathal, though. Renathal doesn't mean that he's not Bran, but I usually don't like running... I usually don't like running Reno decks with, with Renathal. Um, just remove it with down. Yeah. Reason being is that Renathal already adds... Like, Highlander is already kind of an inconsistent deck, and Renathal adds to the inconsistency. So to me, the 5 health isn't worth it. Unless you have a specific game plan for the um, for having like a, a 40 card deck. Alright, we'll start by drawing. If I don't draw the Helia, then I'll just uh, reap what you sow the... The guy. Okay. Can also just Nerubian. Nerubian might draw me something that, or might um, discover something I want. Yeah, let's just read. Do I just play this without the discount? Let's do it. Take another reap. Um, Distress Cavaldir. It does die to this. I think I just play it slow. Well, let's play the, the Cavaldir. Won't swing though. Finley, huh? Okay. Now this is something I can rock to. All right, not bad. So he runs rifts, that's kind of interesting. Um, let's just reap his face. And we'll hit here and then swing. Uh, I should have coined, because now I'm going to overdraw. I should have, I should have coined here. Steam Cleaner, okay. Alright, well, now I know that Steam Cleaner isn't the... Okay. Uh, how do I want to do this? I can Falling Stalactite this guy, and then trade. I think that's best. Let's see what I get. Hearthstone Brew. Not, don't want him just yet. Maybe just play a, a Chain Guardian. Do I wait on the swing? I think I wait on the swing until I get my, my Helia. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if he has the brand. Burrow Buster will get me my three cost. Okay, he's looking for his brand still. He won't be able to play it immediately. Flames is pretty good. No hell yeah. Okay. Uh, just Burrow Buster this 3-4. And then play the 3 cost. Can also just Chain Guardian again. I can Chain Guardian, Rock, and Hero Power. Let's do that, actually. Mm. Is it worth it, like, just for, just to save this guy the 3 HP? It is a little bit. Because it does keep it awkward, but if he has Bladestorm, I, I feel like... I feel like if he had Bladestorm, he would have played it here instead of the Bellowing Flames. And I kind of want to empty my hand a little bit. So let's do it like this, even though it's a little weird. Time to light a fire under this town. Neither of us have drawn our key cards. Oof. Imagine if he gets my Helia. Or no, it can only be a spell, right? Yeah, it has to be a spell. That'll have to be the, the Tomb Trader. Alright, let's swing. And then we'll... Burrow Buster, probably. Or I could just Distressed in Hero Power. That's Burrow Buster. This is pretty scary for him. Okay. He will have to deal with the 8 1 later. Okay. That'll do it. Not bad. Still no Helia. Can Skeleton Crew and just bring back the Chain Guardian here? Mm. Swap this with a random minion from your opponent's deck. Am I that bold? Eh, it'll be funny. Okay, took his Theotar. Sure, let's get another Chain Guardian. Let's do it. I might just, uh... I might just play the Primus and then the next turn play Hearth. Or I might just play Hearth. Okay. Well, there's his brawler. He hadn't excavated enough. Does need some way to deal with this guy. Okay, that's one way. Okay, that's going to be his AoE. I'll keep track of that. So 
So let's play the Primus. This should force the AoE out of him. And then let's get the pile of bones because this gets revived by the um, Excavate. So now he's going to do his little AoE here. And then he'll need something else to kill the Primus. Yeah, there it is. Sanitize it's called. Okay. He's running out of steam. Ooh, that's kind of a good one. Alright, let's, uh, Skeleton Crew. And then Rock is kind of perfect. We'll play the Rock. And then we'll run out Reska, as weird as that is. And then let's see what Hearth gets me. Alright, it's gonna be Priest. Another ETC. Oh wait, this is his first ETC. He didn't have the the steam cleaner he had, like inside an ETC before. It's gonna be in a brawl. It'd be kind of funny if his ETC survives and I just steal it. Okay. All right. Um, how do I want to do this? Invoke twice, and then Fate Weaver, I guess. Resurrect a friendly undead minion. What's this? Cost one less for each one cost card you play this game. Alright. Do you have this in a bigger side? Do I Galakron these two? He might have the 10 cost weapon with Wind Fury. And I might want to Galakron that. Magic betrays those who abuse it. Okay. Just a rock. There's Helia. Alright, let's trade here. Um uh, let's see. Let's kill off this guy. Definitely want to play the Helia. And I guess I'll play the devoted the devoted maniac. What's this? If you cast a holy spell, okay. Play this and this. GG. Well, not GG, he can still win, but. We're in a pretty good spot right now. We'll see what he what he gets from the uh from the weapon. Lifesteal. So summon an A cost. Okay, we can deal with that. Not bad. Um, Katrina? Kinda want the taunt though. Alright, let's play the Katrina. Alright, I'll play this. 
more plagues. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Ooh, Emulate. Alright, well, I guess I have to start moving then. Alright, um, well, all this goes face. And then, do I have any way to deal direct damage? Like, I have down with the ship to his face. Well, this 100% happens. And then this goes face. And do I play the taunt? I guess I'll play the taunt with it. And then I believe one of the devastations is uh, deals damage directly to his face and heals me. Oh hey. Oh yeah, you can take that. I don't mind. He spent five five mana for a two one. All right, looks like he's just out of removals. Yeah, poor warrior. Okay. Probably Sludge Warlock. Um... Let's get rid of these two. I'll keep this. Alright, that's pretty good. Sludge Warlock can be a bit tricky, because he can deal so much damage out of nowhere. Okay. Do I swing at the 2-2? Two -two? I don't think I do. So if he has the sludge on wheels, he would probably coin it and hit into the into the one one. Punch of coins might be. Uh, oh, he's gonna tap. Okay, it's kind of good for me. Yeah, it's kind of good for me. Um, so... I think I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna play uh, Pouch of Coins because it's looking like he wants to get something big. So let's start with this, and then we'll Pouch of Coins. And then I'll just wait. We'll see what big thing he comes out. Maybe like a six-eight taunt. Okay. He hasn't shuffled any um, sludges though. Which means these guys survive. Ooh, Tomb Trader might be good. Uh, let's see. 
Might be good, but not right now. Alright, um, let's start with the Nerubian. Yeah, Nerubian might get me removal for this guy. Uh, Plague Strike. So it hit here, Plague Strike. I'd have a 2-2 that rushes into this. But it wouldn't be enough to kill it. So I think a Howling Blast would be better. Howling Blast becomes a is a one mana card though. Maybe I delay the the Primus by one turn. strike then. Okay. Kind of don't mind the uh, the board presence right now. I have both the Primus and Plague Strike for tempo. Frawly problem, okay. It's completely safe. Just don't spill it. Okay, so that sludge will kill my two four. These three threes I presume will kill my two twos. Yep. Now do I actually play the Primus? Because I can still Plague Strike. I can still um, Tomb Trader this Plague Strike Hero Power, and that would wipe his board. If I just um, if I just Primus, it does kill this guy. It does put something really big on the board, and I can still Plague Strike this and kill a three-one. Leaves him with another three-one. Yeah, it's still better. Then Asphyxiate will probably be it. Because this will be up, so I might want to kill a big minion. Alright. I'm glad I took Plague Strike. Um, I also want to keep an eye on Reska and Chain Guardian, because these are also very good removals. Leaving this alive is really scary for him. I don't know if he has much of a choice, though. Okay. Then... Ooh, fracking, okay. He doesn't have any more sludges in the bot- Or, he does have one. But with fracking, it means that this guy won't, uh... Won't do his thing. Okay. Yeah, he was not able to kill the Primus. Alright, so how do I want to deal with this guy? I think I do summon the 3-3 three, three taunts. Ooh, re another Resco or the Chain Guardian? These are very good. Mm. These are very good, actually. I guess Resca? Hmm. 
Chain Guardian is all... Uh, let's, let's take Reska. And then I guess I'll asphy asphyxiate the 7-7. Seven, seven. And... Helia, probably? We're just done with the ship. What's down with the ship, 2-2? Two, two. I should have played the Distress Cavalier. I think that would have been better. The I, I had the mana for it, and it was a 3-2 a body is better than just swinging with the, with the staff. Can Reska and steal his popgar? Ooh, that's very unfortunate that he had, he had a coward cast that. Yeah, let's just Reska here. Should be very hard for him to deal with. Maybe running out the uh, Chain Guardian was uh, a bit too much. I'll be very surprised if he answers this board though. He's low on cards, so plagues are very likely for him to. They're very likely to just uh, eat away at him. Gonna be a lot of plagues in his hand. They won't auto cast. The wording in this is swap your hand, not you know shuffle your hand and and then draw cards. So he does have plagues in his hand. Symphony of Sins. Interesting card to run. Okay. Well, it should be GG. He doesn't have enough mana to play with. And then my guy gets reborn. <laughs> 